Hey guys, Jay back again for Week Spies at Fat. Before anything else, click that subscribe button if you want to see some more of this stuff. And thanks for following along, like always. But uh, someone forgot to shoot an intro video for uh, this one. So here we are. Uh, today we have a 2015 Maserati Gilby, uh, and that one is getting a bit of an audio upgrade. Um, the stock system in it, which was the non-amplified basic system that was in there, was terrible. It honestly sounded terrible, and that was what the customer actually came in for. They said they've had just Bluetooth speakers that sound better than what their bloody audio in their Maserati sounds like, which makes no sense to me, but whatever. Um, so we are fitting a set of Helix S62Cs to the front, the point twos, which are the newer version. Uh, and we're also fitting a match uh, M5.4 DSP, which is one of the new versions of the M DSPs. I do love these things. I did do an old Maserati, which I'll throw a link up in the corner for that one. But um, this is the new 5.4. So this is the updated version um, and like the last one, exact same physical size on our amp itself, which is so cute. Look at that. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. This will do 4x60 RMS plus 1x90 or 1x160 at um, 2 ohm. Rip him out and you can see how populated these things are getting. So that's our main connector on the back there with our remote in and out. And over this side, we now have our subwoofer output. Um, now this is the new thing here. So we've got a line output cable. So now we've got four channels of output from the processor as well. So that basically goes in now and we've got four channel output from our five channel amp. So we're actually looking at nine channels of DSP. Now the other cool thing as well is this has got the new control port on it, which is the newest updated version. Um, so of course, if you still want to use one of the older style, uh, there is an adapter that comes in the box. Uh, and that obviously allows you to then plug in and adapt back to that old style plug for, you know, the directors, etc. Um, but there are new cables coming for all of those. So obviously you can get them with that direct control port. Uh, and the big win with that is that it is so much shorter now because normally um, with the old port, you would have the cable hanging out of the, about that far. So sometimes for tight installations, it made it a bit difficult. Uh, obviously now with that port, you can see that as soon as that's in there, it's very short. So yes, that is our new control port. The bonus is now that this will actually do power as well. So unlike the old director cables where you had to separately power them up, um, it will now all get powered through that one port, which is gonna be a lot better. Then of course, optical, um, which, you know, all current version processors should have at this point in time. Um, but apart from that, we've just got our main harness, which is inputs and outputs and our power. And then our subwoofer output, which I think at this point we are probably gonna use as a center channel, which is fine. Cause again, it's all DSP control. So we can uh, do whatever we like with that. And of course, just our USB for uh, programming. So, there's our 5.4. Next thing is um, start getting it in the car. All right, first thing we're gonna do is pull the boot apart because I need to get to the factory amplifier, which is hiding in the corner up in there. So, start doing it. T30s. Alright. So it definitely was a T25. And there's the battery. Ooh, I tell you what, if someone uh, wanted to do a good sub set up in here, you could, uh, hmm, random clip, um, you could delete said space saver spare wheel and put a very nice doof box in here. Yes, Gulf. Are you for real? Uh, yes. No camp there. Probably should have popped that cover off first. 
All right. Well, there is no factory amp in here. Well, I guess that means I put the boot back together again. So of course, from the research that I did, these had a factory amplifier in the left quarter panel. This is obviously the base model system, so no amplifier. Um, these are actually based off a Jeep Chrysler Dodge system. So when you look at the unit in the front, you'll actually see it is the same style 10 inch screen that they use in a lot of the um, 9.4 or whatever it is, um, that they use across a lot of the Dodge Rams and the Jeeps and all that sort of thing. So. My guess now is that this is just the, uh, the pod pack stereo, um, so it will have no amplifier and no doubt it's probably all just running straight from the head unit. So I guess the next thing is pull the dash apart. Bonkers tight. Mm. I don't like this. Mm. Struggling. And we have a dashboard in many pieces. We have all of the gap. Right, and there we go. That is one big gaping hole. It's got about as much gap as I do. But that is out finally after a lot of stuffing around. Hallelujah. And of course, here is our main plug. As you can see, that is Chrysler Dodge style plug. And it's looking like we do have our speaker wires in here. So next thing is I'm gonna do some pinning out and um, check that all our speakers are there. And we're good. And then I can um, actually start getting this amp wired in. So that would be awesome. Right, next things next, doors. So while I'm waiting for a T-harness connector, which, haha, -ha, for some cluey people out there, you'll know what that is. This is a Chrysler connector. Chrysler, Dodge, Ram, Jeep, whatever you want to call it. Um, all I had to do was uh, take out a couple of notches in here and that now lines up and even the, and then the pins and everything line up to it. So that is an absolute win. So I've got a T-harness on the way for that, so I don't have to modify any wiring. So while that's coming, let's get this apart. Hey, Dr. Evil. Scott, eh? And the answer to that question is yes. Yay! Well, they're very Volkswagen-y style clips. Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. Cool. Wow, that actually came off a lot easier than I thought. Is that a... Yep. Huh. Oh, it comes out. Uh, look familiar? <laughs> Chrysler Dodge. Um... Actually, yeah, it's uh, the It is. Modules. It's the door modules. Yeah, the RAM module. Wow, you know what that means? This car could be programmed with Alpha OBD. You might be able to put the speaker straight in. I might be able to put the speaker straight in. <laughs> I might need a flange, but all right, that's a good sign. Um, very Volkswagen clips. Yeah, yeah. Very, very Volkswagen clip. Spring loaded. Yeah. Ish. Ish. It looks like it's supposed to pull out, but none of them did. <laughs> I'm sure they do that on purpose. Dude, you're doing a banger job, man. Thank you. Not that good. All right. Well, there's our stock speaker. So I might be able to get away with just making a mount that uh, goes straight into that, which would be nice. All right, get this apart and have a look. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. Maserati quality. What's that say? Lancia Fiat Alpha. Uh-huh. So what do they put them in like? The Fiat 500s? Nah, surely the Fiat 500 got a better speaker than that. Wow. That is proper shit. But hey. Alright. So there's our new Helix. 
S6Cs, uh, sorry, S62C, and obviously our factory one, and I've already got a win that oh, almost all the way in. That is an absolute win. So that means I can get away with making a 6 mil flange in that shape, and uh, that'll be it. Lovely. And that's one speaker in. There we go. And of course, Murphy's Law struck. That Murphy prick is an asshole. He really is. I ran out of template tape, didn't I? So, Jay needed to go old school, rip out said jigsaw, and make some spussers. Which, look, to be honest, they're not terrible. They are well and truly spaces, and they will space and they will do things. So that's good. That's uh, that's one speaker in, like I said. So now I'll uh, jump on the other side, get the other one done, and then um, it looks like my two harnesses arrived, so I can jump in and start doing some wiring. Oh yeah. All right. I have both woofers in. I've just got the crofters just wired up for testing purpose, but they will be mounted to the back of the door trim. I've now got this side done as well. The tweeters are in. So now it's time to do some wiring. I've done some pinning out and worked out my harnesses. As you can see, I have modified these very slightly, which they now do fit into the plugs perfectly and all the pins line up, which is awesome. But of course, my pinouts are a little bit around backwards, but that's fine. I know what they are and that's all that matters. And at least we have a harness, which means we don't have to modify anything. Win! So of course now I get to do the fun bit. Give it the hack. Bam. Bam and the plugs were gone. Yes. Alright. There is my harness I made up. So Match plug, through to that. Constant and ground are reversed. That's fine, I've just accounted for it. So now I get to go plug it in and see if it does something. All right. I have some audio. So just temporarily wired it all up, just so we know we are actually functioning. And as you can see, we are good. Or as you can hear, I should say. All right, I found a nice little hidey hole for my amplifier. Hoo-ya! Get some light, and of course my torch is dead. Uh-huh, that's the way it works. Hoo-ya! Let me get my torch, and you can see he's hiding down the back in there. So that's quite nice, and if you look from the side, you can see he's tucked right up in there and I've got my USB plugged in so that's good because I can uh, just have my USB come out of the side of this console here which this is just a big removable cover that sort of goes over this whole spot here um, so that'll be a win so that if uh, I ever need to get in there and tune or whatever the case is that'll be just tucked up in the side panel there nice and easy to get to so win I can start putting this back together yeehaw let the fun begin So one weird thing, hang on, just let me, mm -hmm. besides the fact that it literally says Chrysler on the head unit, um, it's got two identical plugs on the back. It's kind of like, uh, uh, which one? I just noticed that camera is like pointing at the floor. Mm. Why, did, why did you do that? Oh, they're actually different, right? One's got different hands. So one's got the box. Oh, you're right. Yeah. So it wouldn't have fit in the other hole. No. I'll <laughs> do oh, this. I'll do this. Yeah. Turn it on and see what happens. And security code. Yep, 
security code. Lucky I know the trick. Fixed. That's good. We are fired up. We have a light on our amplifier. All right, get the rest of this back together. Whoop! All right, not gonna lock him all the way home yet. I'm gonna make sure we're all good, everything's working, and then once everything's back together and we're all good, because those clips were absolute assholes to pull out. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave that to last. Sounds like a good move. Let's fire it up. Just right on that edge. That wasn't a slap though, that was like it dropped. It just, I know, it dropped into plus, but I'm saying it's like that one mil difference from. Oh. That's what I'm saying, it's a it's one lot. It, that one mil difference just made it go. <laughs> that was it. Alright. That's back together. Dash is almost back together. Pulling apart the boot for no reason, but that's all back together. Driver's door back together. Someone's been inside this door before and has killed every single clip, which is awesome. So we're gonna order some more clips for this, um, but it will come back for that. Uh, of course, the door trim that I pulled off that no one else had touched, went back on perfectly. So, yep, Murphy's Law, but you know what? Like I've said, uh, a couple times before in videos that cars normally leave with more fasteners and more clips than what they come in with. Um, unfortunate, but the truth is what it is. Anyway, so now we are up to tuning time. Woo! My favourite bit. We're all tuned up and done. Um, it is a vast improvement over what it sounded like before. There is absolutely no question about that. It actually has a nice nice image going on. Uh, we've got some killer mid-bass happening, which is wicked. And it actually, like I said, sounds a hell of a lot better than what it did. So thanks for watching yet again, guys. Um, back soon, and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye. Um, head cutting off yep. a bit. Yep.